Displays in store windows are usually designed to attract attention. Well, no problem for one Vancouver clothing store, especially if you believe bad publicity is better than no publicity at all. Deborah Goebel explains. If a store window is supposed to make you stop and look in, then this one's definitely a winner. A second-hand clothing store on Commercial Drive, they pride themselves here on being seasonally creative. So it was a bit of a shock when people started complaining about this Halloween window. I definitely didn't think I would be getting, you know, the police calling me, people yelling, emails, you know, phone calls. Chopped off limbs, bondage and glass dripping with blood isn't, it seems, everyone's cup of tea, no matter what the season. It's a bit harsh, considering it's women, bloody women, you know. If children are going to be walking by and seeing this, I think that'd scare a lot of kids. Still, for every passerby who seems to dislike this window, there seems to be another who thinks it's great. It's Halloween. Very creative. I think it actually brings back Halloween the way it was supposed to be instead of being commercialized. If you're going to take issue with this, then you have to take issue with Hollywood because they produce much more gory and, and realistic gore. Like. Exactly, says the owner. Although this past weekend he did take this mannequin of a bloody child in a plastic bag out of the display. I'm not going to change the whole window, but I'll, you know, I'll lighten it up. The police say there is nothing illegal about the window. And anyway, on November 1st, it will be taken down. Halloween's over, up comes a new window display. Up Come December, the dead child and the hacked up woman will probably live again, he says. Next time, in a happy Christmas scene. Deborah Goebel, CBC News, Vancouver. Well, there has been lots of reaction to this story on our website, uh, so you can see more of the controversial display and wade into the discussion if you choose with your comments at cbc.ca/bc.